in this video. You're gonna witness India's top 10 most unique foods. The winds are roaring. The gods are praising us for our great effort. This is the moment of truth. Is it good? I really hope so. <laughs> I need an ending to this video. India is the birthplace of Hinduism, Buddhism, yoga, chess, and Gandhi. This great Asian nation is home to over 1 billion people, 700 languages, and some of the oldest cuisines that often influence our Wednesday night takeout decisions. Oh. There are over 2,000 named Indian dishes, ranging from North Indian to South Indian, veg and non-veg. Mm. But don't worry, on our many Best Ever India tours, we've sampled the cuisines and made it super easy for you. I can't even believe that I'm in India right now. I'm at a food truck where they're serving beef. Yeah. I'm not dreaming. No. <laughs> okay, it looks really good. Here's a list of the top 10 most unique Indian dishes we've come across on our travels. Number 10. Pani Puri. We're in this residential area here in Mumbai, and just on the street corner, these guys pop up out of nowhere. Our Indian countdown begins with a dish called Pani Puri, and some sage advice, when you see a crowd in Mumbai, you follow it. At the front of the line might be a stall whipping up these mini cracker bowls filled with an explosion of flavor. What is special about this place? That Pani Puri is very tasty. How many do you usually eat? 10 to 15 uh, 10 to 15, my kind of snack, I like that. These crispy dough receptacles are packed with chopped onions, herbs, and sweet and savory pastes. Plus, India's greatest weapon of mass consolidation, masala. The Pani Puri dealer hands you this addictive treat one by one in quick succession. My second piece of advice is to eat it as fast as you can before the snack becomes a soggy mess. Mm. Oh, suit me up. Each Pani Puri is only 25 cents a pop, but once your tab is open, like me, the limit no longer exists. Maybe I'll stop after 10, or maybe I'll stop when I hate myself. <laughs> maybe I'll stop after 10, or maybe I'll stop after I acquire a deli belly. Okay, I seriously, I've had like eight or nine already. Last one, last one. Mm. Number nine. Beja Fry Goat Kidney. Um, these are not testicles, right? No, not at all. That's kidney. When it comes to Indian food, be open-minded. Challenge yourself to try everything once before throwing the first kidney stone. Uh, I mean, I got my lines mixed up. But anyways, Mumbai is riddled with late-night street food markets, hosting vendors with their own unique styles and twists on traditional recipes. Oh, that's so good. It's one of those foods that I'm sad I discovered it so late. We found one with an array of the very best triple O's, offals, offcuts, and organs. What animal is this from? Goat. All a goat. This is all the goat yeah. organ section that we found. These guys, <laughs> these, <laughs> These guys, these guys guarantee they can make any body part taste like Christmas. And we're here to find out. I've never had a goat kidney, not yet, anyways. Let's try it now. Cut your kidneys into small pieces and saute them with a special blend of seasonings and Indian spices. Who knew internal organs could taste so good? Mmm, that's good. It just has a nice organy feel. It's a little chewy. Number eight, record-breaking vegetarian tali. You've already done this. You said you ate about 15%. <laughs> so you ate like this much of, of one. Love. Yes. Want to know the perfect date? You and your shorty getting this massive tali. Next on our list is a must-have on your trip to India, specifically designed for you to realize that you're 37 and you never really assembled a big friend group to share this with. I had six more friends who came over and we could finish that tali. Friends. Tell me more about this friend thing. Needless to say, it's so good, you wouldn't want to share it anyways. Seated and ready to dig in, we're shocked at how massive this spread is. 52 unique vegetarian selections on one giant platter, inclusive of paneer butter masala, cauliflower curry. You know what? Just play the clip. Oh man, that is the right way to make cauliflower. Spicy, thick, tomatoey gravy. Wow. My Pune local co-host, Sarta taught me the bole bole for this very moment. When the meal is so good, you can only express it in choreographed dance. So you want bale bale? What's that? It's a very popular Punjabi move called the bale bale. It's bale bale. Bole bole. Bole bole. Do you say something? You just the say. The moment you. No, no, that's what they do. Bole bole. Bole bole. Bole bole. Bole bole. Bole bole. Bole bole. Speaking of professional dancing, number seven is as incredible as the live entertainment that comes with it. Next up, Daveli in Mumbai. Hello. Hey. Jay. Jay. Is he yelling at me? No. Okay. Did I? India is the best, that kind of thing. Hey! Dabeli is a popular snack made from mashed potatoes, onions, sweet and savory chutneys, pomegranate, peanuts, and seb, all stuffed into a yummy toasted bun. Dabeli is found all over Mumbai, but this Dabeli is special. Making this is a Mumbai vendor that Benihana chefs couldn't hold a candle to when it comes to performative cooking. 
he whips your serving up while doing his odd version of the robot? Is that the robot? It's, yeah, it's technically dancing. We're in a Bollywood movie right now, aren't the we? Odd. Oh, it's happening. He's got the bread. He dramatically rips them apart, carefully slicing each one. It's not actually that careful. I think he might cut himself at some nope, point. don't think so. The belly. It'll put some pep in your step mm. and some skip in your jump. And I don't even know what that means. India has the world's largest number of vegetarians. But here's the good news. Indians are kind of experts at making meatless food taste like, well, actual food. Seriously, unreal. That is so good. That's right. Vegetarian food can actually be pretty delicious. Number six on our list is what I'd like to call the lie that America taught me. Hamburgers. You would think, what? This place couldn't have hamburgers, it does. This pudding job special has the makings of an American burger. The bun, cheese, tomatoes, onions, sauce, and grease. So, so much grease, but no meat. The look is pretty deceiving. Oh my gosh, have you ever seen such a beautiful burger in your life without meat? The taste positively shocking. Mmm. Oh, buddy up. It's so good, I actually uttered these words. This makes me think like, ah, I could eat meat less. While I probably won't reduce my meat intake anytime soon, it is good to know that there is tasty vegetarian food out there. Number five on our list, homemade Indian food. Our trip to New Delhi reminded us about one important thing. After going to street food stall after street food stall, nothing is better than a home-cooked meal. Right now, she's kind of doing the final steps, making the palak paneer. Our ever-present Indian co-host, Harshita, was nice enough to bring me home to try her mother's cooking. You smell the flowers. I'm like speechless right now, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she feeds me. <laughs> Mom starts cooking early and lets me in on some of her secret recipes. <laughs> After getting all dolled up, I'm greeted with a fantastic spread of Delhi favorites. Palak paneer, roti, dal, chawal, dahi pakori, and more. I just realized this is a vegetarian meal. It didn't even dawn on me. Everything's so like hearty and delicious. Huh. I didn't even realize till now. Oh wait, there's actually no meat here. That's the beauty of Indian cuisine. You, you have a lot of varieties and veg as well. Right, Those you don't food. feel like something's missing. Yeah. Number four on our list is the most divisive meat selection in Indian history. I can't even believe that I'm in India right now. I'm at a food truck where they're serving beef. Yeah. I'm not dreaming. No. <laughs> okay, it looks really good. A number of states across India strictly prohibit the slaughtering of cows for a number of reasons. Luckily, we're in the mood to be frowned upon. My partner in crime for this episode, Jasmine, helps us to track down a food truck in Goa that serves this forbidden meat in a deliciously constructed sandwich. It tastes so good to be oh bad. Bale, bale. Bale, bale. After you check out number three on our list, you will want to throw your stove away and grab a shovel. Oh. This is gonna take a while. We're having underground lamb in Jodhpur. First, prepare your hole. <laughs> Sounds dirty. First, prepare your hole. What's happening here? I'm just gonna moist this a little bit. With the bottom layer of heated embers. So we've got the hot embers coming in. This will be your oven. Take your perfectly seasoned lamb leg, wrap it in roti, aluminum foil, and banana foil. Actually, I'm getting hungry just talking about this. Check it out for yourself. In with the meat wrapped in this soaked gunny sack. He's got kind of a wire handle on here. The embers are heating up that wet sack and now they're gonna cover it on top. When it's finished, unravel the best gift you can give yourself and enjoy. Cheers, cheers. Mm. It's all right. Oh, it's stunning. It's very tender. Just a ton of spices working together. Yeah, but it, there's nothing sharp in it. You're right, you it's know? not overpowering yeah. at all. Everybody loves good old scrambled eggs, but what if they're from a prehistoric looking bird? Jesus, guys, look at this one. Bro, how do your legs even bend that way? Is that even healthy? Number two on our list, Emu Egg Buji, on a random highway between Mumbai and Pune. Emus are known to be the second tallest birds in the world. They're shaggy looking with dark feathers and a serious attitude. Honestly, at the same time, they are majestic and beautiful and also completely terrifying. Their eggs are massive, the perfect size for one really, really hungry man. To get the eggy liquid out, you just have to, um, yeah, like what this guy's doing here. Lots of that. Yes, that was the best sound ever. That looks nice. Good job, fellow guy. Once dispensed, cook the egg up with a delicate balance of seasonings and Indian masala spices. 
serve with the last known address of this dish to the side. It's unreal. There's like a depth of flavor where you just didn't realize that scrambled eggs could be like that. Number one, whole Indian chuka. It's been a fun ride so far, and if you're still with us on this countdown, you're probably super hungry right now. Our top unique Indian food brings us to a little settlement with a local YouTube celebrity. Their channel is blowing food channels out of the water. Meet Daddy of Village Food Factory, who agreed to host us for the day and make us his famous mutton chuka. Wow. All these ingredients just get nice and happy together inside. Can I eat it now? Yeah. Oh, I'm just, I was joking. But thank you. <laughs> the village cooking subgenre on YouTube is huge. Locals, young and old from all over the world, are coming together in small villages to create monetizable and engaging content, usually ending in a massive feast aimed at feeding everyone. How has YouTube changed your life? Totally yeah. changed. Daddy. Before YouTube, nobody respect them like in their village, but now everybody wants to see Daddy. Well, today is no different. Our host, Daddy, starts by slaughtering a whole sheep as a sacrifice for today's lunch. Do we eat the balls? Uh, people eat it, but I don't eat it. I don't like it. Let's ask Daddy. Uh, oh, if he said, yeah, we can eat. He makes work of the meat pretty quickly, chopping it into finer pieces, leaving no part to waste. Seasoning in a huge cauldron and then cooking it down until the angel starts singing. Cheers. Wow, warm, rich, fatty. All the marrow is gone from inside now. It just sucked right out. Indian food is legendary and is part of a well-connected web of aspects that make Indian culture so influential and popular among many others. If you ever get the chance to visit India, feel free to use this list as a guide for your top tier Indian food. But promise not to just stop there. You can hardly go wrong by trying something out of the ordinary and unique. For the takeout heroes, instead of ordering your usual chicken tikka masala with rice, why not try something new? It might very well surprise you. Oh, this blend of seasonings is just so delicious. Every part is perfectly cooked. You kind of never know what you're biting into, but that's kind of the fun of it. This has been the best ever Indian food tour countdown. Until next time. Is the mutton good? Yummy! Success. A piece. Welcome to the Best Ever Merch Store, where you can check out our brand new designs. Best Ever Bandanas in black, white, and red. The Please Send Nudes Hoodie. Pillow Soft Fabric with a quality custom graphic inlay. And our Street Food Around the World Graphic Tee. We're now shipping everywhere around the world. Just visit shopbesteverfood.com or click the link in the description below to get your new merch today. A peace.